Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Foundation Friday. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody who watched my first episode of Foundation Friday. Thank you so much for y'all constant support. But anyway, um, this is episode two. I'm going to be trying the Hourglass uh, Vanish Foundation Stick. This is one that's been out for a few years. Um, I am new to trying out foundation sticks, meaning like um, my first foundation stick was the Huda Beauty one that came out, I believe, like last year. That was my first time trying foundations, uh, a foundation stick because I always felt like they would dry me out. But um, I've been trying more and more out lately and I've actually been liking them. So I just felt like it was time to pick this up. And also, I watched, I think, a few months ago, probably was like last month. I think I can't remember um simply Christelle's channel y'all know I love her and she was using this I don't know if it was a favorites I can't remember what she was using it for but when I seen her use it I was like okay pick it up and I've actually had this for a long time just sitting on my vanity so I thought it would be perfect to use for um foundation Friday I'm gonna read just a little bit about it I'm not going to go into depth about it because this is not my typical foundation review I'm just going to do my first initial thoughts and that's it I'm not doing a wear test and if you're new to what foundation friday is foundation friday is when i try out a, a foundation that's been out for a while just kind of give my first impressions my thoughts on it that's basically yeah. into exactly what this is this is a weightless waterproof foundation with long wearing concentrated coverage and a custom triangular component for fast and easy coverage on the go the coverage is full and the finish is natural all right y'all so let's just get right into foundation friday i already have primer on and actually i've had this um foundation stick for like the last month i think and i never even took it out the box i'm sure y'all know what it looks like already and i got the shade um sable that was the color match that sephora matched me to so i'm hoping that it actually matches because you never know with sephora matter of fact let me open it up i don't know but we'll see in a second so i'm gonna just apply it to my face y'all and i'm um i already got primer on but i've been using this smashbox uh photo priming water like i spray it before i put my foundation on or sometimes i'll spray it when i put my foundation on and then blend it out i really like this and this is a sample size and i've been using like the heck out of it i'm gonna go buy me a bigger bottle because i've been really like loving this and i'm spraying this because i feel like with foundation sticks sometimes they be dry put it on my hand okay no it don't feel dry and this looks like this would be almost a perfect match Okay, so let me just put some on my face. Okay, y'all, this is what my face look like. I feel like this shade, Sable, is not my perfect match. Now, it matches, but I feel like the undertone is off. This is supposed to be a neutral undertone. When I was putting this on, it was looking more olive. I don't know how it was showing up on camera, but in person, this looked very olive. I think Golden Amber, which is the shade before this, would be my perfect match. Um, I didn't pick that one up because they Sable and um, Golden Amber is listed as a medium deep with a neutral undertone, so... I decided to go with Sable and plus I was color matched with this one on Sephora's website but I feel like Golden Amber might be a perfect match or just a better match. Um, big foundation stick for days where you need to run errands, you don't have time to put a lot of makeup on, you just want something quick. I think this will be perfect for that. This in general I feel like is a perfect everyday foundation stick and I feel like depending on like what shade and how you want to use it, you could definitely like keep this in your bag for on the go. Um, the coverage is definitely there. This did cover up all my blemishes on the side of my face. So far, I like it. Um, am I blown away by it? No. I'm going to wear it a couple more times to really see, like, do I love it or if I hate it. And I will definitely keep you guys updated on my thoughts on this. Um, so, yeah, that is basically it for foundation. If y'all have any foundations you think I would like, definitely leave it below in the comment section. But anyway, y'all, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.